USA Election News Harris to unveil small company tax reduction plan When she speaks in New Hampshire on Wednesday, Vice President Kamala Harris may propose economic policies to support small companies. According to a campaign official on Tuesday, the Democratic presidential contender will campaign in Portsmouth to increase the company's startup tax deduction to $50,000 from $5,000. Harris will also propose a company standard deduction to streamline entrepreneur tax filing. Congress writes tax laws, so any changes depend on which party controls the House and Senate in November. Many parts of the 2017 Trump era tax reform will expire in 2025 forcing the next Congress to rewrite the tax code, Harris told CNN's Dana Bash on Thursday that her opportunity economy would include an expanded child tax credit of up to $6,000 for new parents, $25,000 in down payment assistance for first-time home buyers, and tools to combat price gouging by big businesses, whom she blames for high grocery prices. Middle Class Message Harris and running mate Tim Walls have focused on middle-class issues in recent weeks. Wednesday will also see the former California Attorney General and U.S. Senator unveil a number of other initiatives to encourage small business formation, with her target of 25 million new business applications under her administration if elected. The recommendations include reducing licensing to allow businesses to expand across state borders and incentivizing state and local governments to cut red tape and lower regulations. Harris will also propose giving small businesses more government contracts and creating a fund to help community banks pay interest for businesses expanding in underinvested areas. This week has at least three presidential campaign events, including Harris's New Hampshire stop. She will travel to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, on Thursday after campaigning for organized labor with President Joe Biden on Labor Day. Republican presidential contender Donald Trump will attend a Wednesday town hall in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, with Fox News personality Sean Hannity and a Saturday campaign rally in Massanee, Wisconsin. Trump blamed the administration for high pricing on Truth Social Monday, attacking Biden and Harris. Trump added in his distinctive combination of upper and lowercase characters that under Harris, his comrade, all Americans are suffering during this holiday weekend, high gas prices, transportation costs are up, and grocery prices are through the roof. We cannot continue under this weak and failed leadership. U.S. presidents do not determine groceries or transportation pricing. Meghan McCain, daughter of late Republican senator and presidential candidate John McCain, says she won't vote for Harris or Trump this year. McCain posted on X, formerly Twitter, on Tuesday afternoon about the presidential election without stating who she would vote for or whether she would vote. The conservative commentator said she was a proud member of the Republican Party and would not vote for Harris like her younger brother, Jimmy McCain, who told CNN he would. I adore my family and accept their diverse political views, Meghan McCain stated. I am pleased to be a Republican and hope for better times. Not voting for Harris or Trump, hope that clarifies, McCain interviewed independent candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. on her podcast earlier this year and warned Democrats that he could still make a real difference after suspending his campaign and endorsing Trump last month. On Tuesday night, Newsweek emailed McCain's representatives for reaction.